Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Roleplay XCOM Season 2. Inferno is with me, and also hey. uh, I have a guest star Piff today. I'm a star! Y you sure are. Yeah. Mom, Mom guess what? <laughs> 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 he, like, runs down okay. the stairs. I'm a star! <laughs> Alright, uh, real quick, uh, 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 a change real fast. Um, everyone in Aegis Squad seemed to not be fond of the shade of green I had chosen for you guys. So I have changed you to, um, a darker shade of green. Uh, and like I said, for everyone in the forums, if you can all get together and decide on a color, any color, you can move to that color, as long as everyone's the same color. Um, however, do keep in mind, because there seems to be confusion here, whoever's chosen as the squad leader doesn't get to choose any color they want. They will just get a different shade of that color that complements that color, which means you don't get to choose. I will choose something that says, okay, this is a good highlight. So, there's that. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, welcome, uh, uh, what was it, Jason George, who is Kurgo Draven's character, and, um, uh, Lizelle Erasmus, which is, uh, Penguin's character. Cool. And, uh, oh, Afonso. All we have left is Betasaurus, Lex, Rex, and Gamma Ray, but we've got more shivs in the works. We can rebuild them. We have the technology. <laughs> yes, we do. Um, we also have monies. I think you were saving up to, well, you had to buy power for stuff. That's right, that's right. I had to wait another six days before I could build anything. What are you all oh, wow geezing? Tiffy? I'm looking at the uh, materials. There's like four four and five of them. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What, uh, what materials? I don't know anything about the, the slow, the long war. Yeah. <laughs> well, it slows down the economy. So what, 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 what materials are we referring to? Alloys and Illyrium. Oh, oh yeah. Um, there's there. there well, it's still Illyrium alloys. Um, and you've had zero landed UFOs. This is just from blown up stuff, and right. he's been spending some of that too. At least the alloys, I reckon. Yes. Maybe indeed. not. I can't. Um, I, I think so. At least on like buying some certain things. Over there. Yeah. Uh, pulse lasers are in the works. Mm -hmm. but in I think the works. just even researching. Uh, uses up things. It does. Yeah. Oh, it does. Oh, it does. All right, we got a. Hey, speaking of UFOs. Sweet, and it's a landed. Wait, no, it's not a landed one. No, we get to blow it Oops. up. All right, uh, with we're Hoser McKenzie. We're gonna take Maybe. Hoser McKenzie. Come Hoser on, Hoser. McKenzie is a big Hoser, and he will. Shoot the I doubt Hoser will get him, but he, but maybe the next oh, one. Oh, take off, eh? <laughs> take him. These aliens don't know hacky from their stupid. Oh my God, Hoser got him! Damn, they didn't even take touch. a scratch, yeah. eh? They didn't even take a scratch. Now give, give me a beer, okay? <laughs> a twofer. Give me a twofer. Anyone got a baby mouse? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get a free beer, right? Eh? You get a mouse <laughs> and a beer. You get yourself a twofer. Alright, we're sending Aegis Squad in, because we sent in um, Alpha Squad. Who I think tentatively wants to be called Trident Squad, but they haven't quite decided yet. Okay. So I'm hey, assuming looks they like... can uh, choose their own haircuts and whatnot? Yes, they haircuts, can choose their yeah. own haircuts and all that. The only thing they can't choose is the color of their armor. Alright. And all who right. to fall in love with? Right, that, they don't get that, to choose. Alright, we're taking our one sniper. Yep. Because <laughs> it's right. the only sniper we have. That is. Ki la 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 la, yeah. Ki la 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 soma. Um, also, we're going to take. Um, yes, we'll take an infantry unit, we'll take a rocketeer unit, yeah. we'll take a medic. sniper, our medic. Uh, I don't think we need another infantry, so Jackson. We can always mix it up with an assault. We need to we need to bring our uh, our rookie too. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, especially with the crash UFO. Yeah, you gotta mm -hmm. bring the rookie. You gotta bring the rock. And I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, that is a bright pink. It is, isn't it? That's that's the their their rookie colors. You gotta get out of oh, rookie okay, before. Yeah. Mm. I'm thinking Zaifeng or Harume. Harume uh, is back in action. But Zaifeng is oh Zaifeng's another medic. Who is yeah, a gunner? Well, so. Harun's a gunner. Gunner yeah. will be handy. Definitely. So, I, 
he's a scout. Does that count as a rookie? No, 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 no. When I say rookie, I usually I'm referring to rank, but this time I'm referring to he needs to go on at least one mission. Ah, okay. Because everyone has to wear the pink at least once. Okay. And, and the reason it's a scout, like he's already a specialist instead of a rookie, is because this was a ro that was a reward character for doing a council mission. Mm -hmm. Oh, neat. Yeah. <clears throat> So yeah, in this obviously it's not like rookie squatty, it's private first class, specialist, lance corporal, corporal, and then after that I believe it's lieutenant? No, no, uh, no. Well, it depends on if you commission them, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's it's really nice in this mod, the way the medals work actually. When you assign a medal, it actually makes them a commissioned officer, like lieutenant, captain, major, that sort of thing. And if they don't get a medal, they have the non-commissioned classes. So I guess after Lance Corporal would be Sergeant. Um, yes, I think so. I don't so. know, I haven't, yes. I haven't had someone that's uh, you know, upgraded. That. You know, for the time being, I'm going to give her just two rocket launchers instead of a, a rocket launcher and a shredder, because at this point in the game, you can pretty much kill them with the rocket, so shredder is not as important. Okay. You just, uh, yeah, and if you save your rockets to outside the UFO, since it's a small UFO, right. I know you're going to be detonating rockets on the inside. Once you get to tougher enemies where you can totally use that shredder rocket ability without it worrying about it blowing up cover, like a needle rocket, on in like larger UFOs, totally worth it. But you're right, since you're going to be doing most of your combat on the outside of the UFO, a big boomy rocket will be nice. I think you'll find it interesting how rockets work in this mod, uh, Piff. Oh! Uh, from what I've heard, uh, I'm not quite sure if this is just the grenades or rocket launchers or whatever, but isn't, like, the UFOs a bit tougher? Uh, oh, landed yeah. UFOs are. Landed but this is a crashed one. Definitely are, but yeah. this is a crashed one, so... So uh, you could still, like, open up a wall with it? Uh, oh, oh, you mean the actual physical structures themselves? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's tougher, actually. Um, regular anti-person grenades won't do anything. Even high explosive grenades won't really do much. However, if you have a high explosive grenade with an engineer with the sapper trait, they will destroy like UFO structures, like alien alloys. Well, anything was, of alien alloys. I was curious about the uh, rocket launchers specifically. Rocket launchers, uh, I think, actually I'm not sure what they do. to. Uh, sure. They still blow up cars, obviously, instantaneously. I think rocket launchers, since they're considered a high explosive, I think they will um, blow a hole in at least a week in the alien alloy. We'll find out. Bye! Piff loves you! Um, oddly enough, I am not bringing a lot of explosives. I'm not bringing a lot of grenades. I'm bringing like one flashbang, one HE grenade, and um, one smoke grenade. But two I, rockets, like so... Yeah, you know, what I really love about this mod and the amount of, uh, con amount of things clear. that you can bring on the mission is you can really customize the type of mission. So for like a landed, uh, for a UFO, or even more importantly, when you want to try to capture an alien, you can tinker your people with suppress, you know, suppressive grenades and um, arc throwers, you know what I mean, to do kind of a less than explodey kill type mission, it's pretty nice. Oh, hello floaters. Hi there. What's really nice is that, you know, if this were a landed UFO, you'd still have a pod, probably of floaters, but there'd be like four of them at least, or five, but since what they've decided in, if it's a crashed UFO, um, what you do is, um, instead of lowering the number of pods that you have, they just lower the number of aliens in each pod because well, the other aliens got smashed. So, now what's really interesting with this is that Squeak can actually move and fire his rocket, but once after he moves, the rocket becomes extremely, uh, it lowers its range and it becomes harder to hit. So. But, uh, yeah, you're just finding partial cover here, eh? Not much I can do. Yeah, you have to find partial cover and just hopefully hit them, because those things are going to love to flank you. Uh, it might have been worthwhile to have your person stand and fire uh, your rocket, but that's okay. It, it wouldn't have hit two of them. It would have only hit one. Mm, fair yeah. enough. You can still, uh, you can still only hit one. Weird. If you're only going to hit one, then you might as well... Just shoot, yeah. You want to kill it because those things are going to be really mobile. 
46. So oh yeah, go. they're really annoying. I think, I'm not quite sure if they changed that in the mod, but uh, when they actually fly on. upwards, they still have partial cover for- Oh yeah, no, that's still that's still in the game, yeah. Okay. All right, you, that's, um... I think that's the most annoying thing about them. Yeah. Let's go ahead and save you. Um, Let's save you, because you've got smoke. You can't see anything, so you just overwatch. Oh, aye, aye. You have suppression. I probably will do that. Yeah. You also have smoke, so I might actually use your smoke and use you to go for the shot. Oh my well, gosh. The game is a bit more defensive than the original yeah, game. Yeah, that was the first thing that Squee noticed too, and yeah, this is much more defensive. Because like, be... when enemies show up, you're just not like, well, how many times can I shoot them? It's more of like, how can I cripple them so I can actually be able to... Finish them off. Yeah. Because yeah. there's, there's plenty of times where, um, like, trying to cripple an opponent and things like that in the original game is just not a viable tactic. Or at least doesn't work as well as being just flat out aggressive and trigger happy, let's just say. Alright, so here's what's gonna happen. Oh, taking a shot at Harume, missing because that's suppression. And that other one I think is too far away to do much. Yeah, he's gonna do that floaty thing, okay, which that's is fine. fine. Except that's pretty far away, now he's yeah. flanking. That's all right. Uh, penguins should be able to get him, hopefully. Is penguins an assault? No, uh, scout. Yeah. But still. Uh, I don't think he'll get. To... Okay. Well, um, bear I would be good. Uh, if I would hurt. say the partial cover, um, just to the like right of him. This one? Yeah, that one. That should get that you flanking, and it'll still allow you to have cover if you miss. That's true, right, actually. Yeah, this one will get me flanking, likely, but yeah. Even more likely, since he has five hit points, you might not even kill him. That's even true. Um, you do still have to be wary about uh, the guy being able to flank Ooh. you from the other side. Although, you know what you also have? Hmm. You have your squad side sniper, too. So if you I can't do. kill them, your sniper can. That's a very good point. But I bet you might be able to do it. Oh, man. You might be able to do it. Oh, yeah! There you go. And you get to take your colors off when we get home. <laughs> By the way, Wait. speaking of sniper, let's go ahead and finish this guy off. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, that's a pretty good accuracy for. Oh yeah, she's got a scope and a laser sight, which gives her basically they stack to give her plus fifteen aim. Yeah, that's nice. And also in this mod, sniper rifles, assault rifles, and rockets. Uh, you can spend a turn to steady your aim, and it will give you a plus twenty to hit. Nice. Yeah, so that's Is really it just handy. With those weapons? Yeah, yeah, just with those there weapons. There might be other weapons in the mod, like later down the tech tree. Just that we know of so far. But that we know of. Like, you can't steady your shotgun, and you can't steady well, your light machine gun. I would say shotgun would be really weird. Light machine gun? Yeah. That uh, might be handy, yeah. Especially yeah, because you... traditionally gunners don't have great aim. Well, well, I, I was going to say that, yes, you can steady your, your light machine gun. But no, how much that helps you is not really going to be. Um, even even if I put a light machine gun on a tripod, I'm not going to be sniping things. Period. Right. Uh, but I, I think it might even be beneficial for I guess the, I don't know how much the modern work has uh, at the moment. But uh, I think it would be really neat if somebody was like in partial cover and can use that to study. Uh, that would be cool. Guns. That would be neat. That would be tricky. Yeah, a lot of the the, the, the modding though, they're they're limited by XCOM is actually not really all that mod friendly, and they have to really dig deep in the code, and they have limitations on what they can and what they can't do, what values they can and can't change. Um, I don't know. Maybe there could be some sort of perk, because I mean, I know. Uh, I think that maybe something like a cover. You know, uh, there's a trait where if it's a partial cover, it counts as full cover. You know what I mean? Right. So, that's feasible, they, I guess. They might be able to do something like, um, you can steady your aim, but you only get plus 10. That would be feasible yeah. for a light machine gun. Because, yeah, you can steady it, and yes, your but aim will be improved. That's why they have tripods, you know? Yeah. <laughs> or yeah. bipods, technically, usually. Um, but, yeah, uh, something like that would probably work. Idea. Okay, gotta be careful there. I don't wanna... I wanna yeah. come up around here, on this side. 
You don't want to activate too much. <laughs> any, uh... Excuse me. And you just want to activate the outsider until he's ready. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah, the outsider. I don't know. Have you seen the outsiders? And in... you've heard about them, haven't you? In this mod. Um. I just assumed you mean the glowing guy. Yeah. Um. But I mean, basically, in this mod, they're changed a bit to where they have twice as many hit points. They're a lot harder to bring down, and oh, they're yeah, basically uh, they... uh, bosses. Yeah, yeah, and they, they, yeah, they, they heal. Regenerate three, yeah, they re regenerate three hit points per oh. turn. Because they're made of pure energy. So you got down them in the first turn, pretty much. That's, uh, that's quite a hefty upgrade. Yeah, you really yeah. have but to Did they uh, decrease be ready their aim at least? No. Oh, they're God. still just as deadly. Yeah, so, yeah, so it's, it's, it's something you really have to plan for. You cannot activate those guys before you're ready, or you will probably lose people. I've activated before I was ready, but then I also withdrew and played the defense. Well, yeah, I did. I did it once too, but yeah. It, so it's possible, but it's not okay. fun. And you gotta approach really, really carefully. Mm -hmm. Heading there now. Right, you're not gonna be in cover, but we should be okay. Well, it's always good when you you put them, you know, bring them ahead, and they're not in cover, and they've. Um, they've moved from cover to the open because as long as you just single move, if something horrible happens, you can right. always back you just move back them right back. back. Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> We're gonna do kind of a little powwow over here. I like using conga then. Yeah, no, no conga, no conga with this squad. I guess you can dash this person. Yeah. Catch up, rookie. Come on, rookie. Just because you killed a floater doesn't mean you can lag behind. So, in, in, in since the ranks are changed, in this one, rookie really does mean just new guy. That's the new guy, yeah. Alright, All right, so don't want to go here, but I'll go here. Moving out. Yeah. Yeah, because to be, actually, to be a, a private first class, you have to have some sort of experience, right? You don't... Can you go out of boot camp as a private first class? Oh, uh, everyone goes out of boot camp as private first class. Oh, I mean, really? in fact, I thought, I thought most they were just people. Known as privates. No, I most first class was like a special private. No, uh, no, I'm sorry, not most people. Uh, most people leave as private. Some people can leave as a private first class. So it's like being in the honor system in high school. Kind of. When I went, when I went to basic, um, they they that was basically kind of a goal. They said two or three people were going to receive the rank of PFC, and we kind of fought for it, I guess you would say. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's an achievement that you try to uh, obtain. Yeah. I get it. That's kind of interesting. So the very idea that everyone who came to XCOM are private first classes, it kind of gives the idea of, and I don't mean just the lore in your roleplay, but just the lore and the idea that the reason maybe why you are given privates instead of like an already experienced force is that each country's armies, they need all their experienced people, but they're like, you know what, you can take our most talented people who are just out of our recruiting pool, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Which I think makes sense. <clears throat> Alright, um, Daphne, I mean, Kilala, Kilala, what am I going to do with you? You're a sniper, you're not great in these, so, so I should probably like... get her back here. Yep. Now, when you run there, she though, is. you might activate the outsider. Yeah, and you want to take some time well, to... Well, that's what I was thinking. Back here far enough, I shouldn't. Yeah, well, you no, should be fine. You have to just be wary of how you're running. Right. I'm going to get her back here. You might want to just wait two turns, I suppose. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to get her behind the log. I might so as well get everyone else get ready and reloaded. Get Kurume and... up that's here. You know what I can do? What? I have his battle scanner. Yes. I can see where he is. Uh, yes, except that that's going on the roof of the UFO. You're going to have to move that person yeah. by the edge and throw it in, and by then he's going to be peeking in. Well, no, if you move it just to the You could the probably edge. just throw it at the, the door. Well, if I move right here, there's a very slim chance I'll activate him. Uh, Not... yeah, but you know what? Don't move that person until your sniper's in right. position. Why well, take the risk? Right. I well just have that person reload. Because here's my thinking, is that I could I could use the battle scammer, figure out where he is, then position my sniper to get the overwatch shot when he's activated. Or, even better... Oh, just take the shot, yeah. Or even better, since your person's in squad sight, why don't you, in this turn, move them into position, have them steady their weapon, 
next turn have the person throw in the battle scanner, and then with that extra aim and mm -hmm. the squad sight, you know, being able to use the um, battle scanner, your sniper will be able to take a hit, take a shoot, everyone else can run in and shoot the hell out of that sucker. I think that's a good idea. Thank you. Assuming that I can, my sniper can see him from there, which... Yeah, as soon as you have line, which assuming you have may or may not Let's go here. The good thing um, is that the battle scanner lasts for two turns, so you indeed. still have a moment to reposition your sniper to where you think would work. Alright, here we go. Battle scanner in. Hello? There Aliens? he is. Can I see him? I don't think so, but I can move we to where to I'll be able to. Yeah. First. No. But if I move my sniper. Say there. Totally. Make sure you want to just make sure you don't have line of sight. You might as well back him up just a little bit more. Uh, sorry, or I already got his fine. That's still fine. can't see him. It might. That uh, might get that, him. That will trigger him, period. Uh, Move him a yeah, little bit. Over there side. might be good. Yeah. There we yeah, go. There, you go. there we go. All right. Next turn, you can do it. You can shoot. Might as well get your, your squad members in position, too, to charge in. You know. There we go. That kind of works, though. That's kind of nice. Good thing he just sits there. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah, because that's another reason why having battle scanners is just awesome. 99% chance. Yeah, because she's amazing. Bam. And he's like, what? Who? What? What? Now he'll trigger, which is fine. Hello, aliens. Now he'll try to go into a position to try to get her next turn. Because uh, he's the only one that he can see. Do you have a flashbang? I do. Yeah, uh, get ready for that. I say just charge in with the flashbang and, uh... Yep, I'm gonna put her roommate here. Okay. That way the flashbang. Flank. That's not flanking. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's he yeah, will probably get into flanking, but that's not a flanking. Well, not, when it's once, not once you bang and flash him. Flash him, so that's oh, good. Yeah. And now you can move your other people into position. And either just take some pot shots at them or have them dash so they're in a really good position to flank around him. For yeah. next turn. Um, Might as well. Yeah. I'm rolling. Actually, I'm thinking pop and smoke and flashbang. Yeah, if, that, if, I, I wouldn't take any chances with him. I hate his accuracy. Well, the difference, the, the, the thing is, though, is that he'll regenerate three of those hit points if I don't kill him this turn. Right. You do have a... No, I don't want to blow up that alien computer. That looks like yeah. one of the things that weren't destroyed. Yeah. Oh, that's right. It does have a lot of fearing and whatnot. All right, come on. Nicely done, Daphne. Oh, that was very, well, very nice. Well, you still nice. need to do two more points of damage. And uh, there we go. Wow. I was about to say if anybody had run and gun. By the no, way, one of no my assaults. favorite abilities. Yeah, it's pretty great. Still aliens around. Apparently. That's that's actually rare. Typically, the outsider is the last person, but I guess there's a, a patrolling group that hasn't been around. Well, it makes uh, sense. All we did was take out two floaters. Yeah, there may be a few guys behind the ship. There's oh yeah, that's a patch as I've done. Oh, oh gee, I do. We'll be fine. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You still have your rocket launcher, gal. And my sniper You're gal. Flanked, though. Oh, yeah, and your sniper. Let's see who the sniper girl can hit before we do anything else, because she's so far away, she's out of the fight. Yeah. Except for that, so... Go for it! Come on, Kila la Oh, boo. Target's still up. Alright. Rocket, you are oh. flanked, though. No, Let's see, though. Them. You're not gonna kill them all in one go. No, but I can get two of them. Will you be able to kill the other one with your other people? Like, be able to flash him or anything That's like that? That's what because I'm going to go find out before I yeah. fire that rocket. Yeah, because... Okay. Uh, that person can kind of move there. Okay. Hirume, can you get to a place to suppress or... Not really. <sighs> yeah. Actually, if I move you to here... The other person will get a bit more mobility. Yeah, I can get you here, and you can suppress someone. 
Oh, no, no, actually, you, okay, you can see now. You can see him and suppress him. So I could kill those two and suppress him. Sure. Hopefully kill those two. Yeah. I'm rolling. Yeah, but, yeah, and these people might be able to clean up if, if you don't kill one and he's just wounded, right? Because there's one leader there that looks like he has six hit points. Maybe mm -hmm. Rock only does five damage, right? I... So it's a it's a possibility. You have the other potential since you're so close, you can move him to cover and then fire the rocket. That's well, what I'm thinking. Move him here and then fire that rocket. If you move him back far, you're not going to fire the rocket. He won't have the distance. No, he won't. You're going to have to move behind that doorway. But there's no cover here. Yeah, that person already took that spot. So just, yeah, so either fire from where you are and be sure you're going to clean things up this turn. Or, you know what, you can go nuts and move him up. Hold up a second. This mm -hmm. is a little crazy, but go back to where his movement is. Uh-huh. There's a little uh, block that's like right next to him. Yeah, there's that little block right there. Yeah, why not? It would technically yeah. be better than being Why not? Flanked, yeah. It's so close. Heck, you might be able to get all three. I can, not without damaging the ship, but hell, let's do it. The, the ship won't matter. Not that more one. than the soldier's life, anyway, yeah. yeah. Let's do this. Maybe the equivalent of just, like, <coughs> one alloy, anyway. <laughs> that works, so you just have one that did four damage, but he's just so injured. He'd probably panic, I bet, yeah. Probably. If you let him live. Let's see, Hurume, you don't have hollow targeting yet, do you? No, she doesn't. All right. She might as well save her to Let's do let our rookie yes. try and get another hit in. Oh, Nicely oh, done, oh, rookie. All mission objectives complete. Textbook. Textbook operation. So another thing about this mod piff is that um, experience relies much more upon going on the mission itself than how many kills you got. And doing things like this, where going through a mission with no injuries whatsoever, is a huge XP boost to everyone. Yeah. Uh, of course, getting kills does give you some experience, but it's just not so critical. Mm -hmm. Like, if you have a squad of rookies and not a, and you do a perfect mission, and even if the person doesn't get a single kill whatsoever, like he's a medic or whatever, that entire mission will still um, have everyone level up. And now you have enough experience to have an officer training school. Yay. Everyone got promoted. Yeah, they yep. did. Kilala. Kilala, you're going to take um, Headshot. Headshot is so good. Headshot, I believe yeah. they We're even increased it because I think it's 30% critical hit chance and more damage on critical hits. Yep. Heads up, though, mm -hmm. they did that because there are some aliens that are resistant to criticals. The biggest ones are chrysalids and all robotic units because they're considered hardened. So it's not that you don't get any criticals on it, but it gives them like a minus like 30 or 50 percent critical chance. So that headshot is really for things that have heads a, or are just not chrysalids. What, so what is, just a heads up. What is the the rightmost ability. That's Executioner. Yeah, which gives confers... you plus 10 aim against targets with less than half health. Okay. Which, in tactical sense, of course, is is more defense, but since I already have low profile, I'm just gonna go with headshot. Yeah, um, I like... I, I noticed this in um, Enemy Within, mm -hmm. um, that if you actually uh, have somebody that you see with squad sight, you actually have no crit towards them. And if you use headshot, it actually removes the penalty. Yeah, exactly. Uh, they they nerf they nerf squad side a little bit in enemy within because it was such a powerful ability. They made it so that unless you use headshot, you can't get crits on it. Um, and then snapshot for the rocketeer, which basically, um, if that if if I'm it, yeah, yeah moving and shooting less penalty with Much rockets. Less penalty. Yeah. Yeah, and kind of give you just more better aim on your rockets even when you don't move. Which is nice. Uh, smoke um, and mirror—they changed in front. I don't know if you know this or not, but they changed smoke and mirrors to be all support grenades. So flashbangs, yeah. scanners, I think. Gas. Yeah. Gas. Yeah. All no right. recovery. No. Um, no revive. I, I, smoke and mirrors is just so much better right. because the idea is to not get them in that critically wounded state. And even if they are, I don't know if I want them back in the game. I would just want them stabilized. See, what I really love about the, that smoke and mirrors, he's been thinking about just calling it bag of tricks, which makes a little bit more sense. Right. And so you can really customize your engineer to be an offensive engineer or a defensive engineer, which is really fun. 
Alright, who are we? Or a healing gonna... medic, or, uh, yeah. We're gonna give you some hollow targeting. And yeah. our rookie... No, I'm sorry, this is Alexandra. Uh, Alexandra, we are going to give you Ranger, Opportunist, or Gunslinger. Don't really need Gunslinger for an infantry so much. Ranger's nice. Primary weapons do one additional damage. And Opportunist eliminates penalty on reaction shots. Oh man. I've used Gunslinger on infantry because I made that person a covert operative for future missions mm -hmm. and it's really effective, but as a squad thing, eh. It uh, hasn't limited. They're all good. I would, I guess, personally do um, the middle one, Ranger, uh, just because it works well with the uh, swarm, Bolt Swarm. Yeah, plus the AM72, yeah. which is very good, but not absolutely fantastic. Where, but you do go on Overwatch a lot. I do, but Piff and is right. If it, yeah, I mean Overwatch, I, I do go on Overwatch a lot, and that's so true. But those two extra points could mean the difference between killing something or not. True. Um, oh, man, um, mm -hmm. I'll ask my question once you're done selecting. No, you know what? I'll go with Opportunist, because as much as I do Overwatch, I'd rather hit a few more Overwatches than get one or two extra points of damage. Alright. Um, so, I've noticed that once you reach the rank of Corporal, you can have a custom nickname. Mm -hmm. Are you allowing individuals who are role-playing to change their nickname? Yes, they can have whatever yeah. nickname they want, because that's their chance to have their YouTube name or whatever. Yeah, or their Sneaker. Oh, and the flight computers were damaged. Boo. I guess you could just blown it all up then, I guess. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, in any case, everyone, we're going to end this episode here, and the next episode we'll uh, kill more aliens. Damn, Skippy. Wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Slow down. <laughs> we're doing what next episode? <laughs> we're killing more aliens, Piff. They're aliens. Wait, those you can do that in this game? Yeah, uh, those weren't teenagers. That it's it's like a secret room.